Let's talk about a galvanic isolator. So if you have a couple uh, boats sitting in a marina in salt water, and they have dissimilar metals on them, and so electrons can flow from, from one metal to the next, and if you have, uh, they're both boats are hooked up to shore power, then the ground wire is tied to the metal in this boat and in this boat, and they're tied together in the uh, shore power up here. So that gives a path for this current to flow, and that can, uh, can erode away your metal parts on the bottom of the boat. Now, most boats will use uh, uh, zinc, sacrificial zinc, so that erodes away first, but uh, we can add a, an isolator in the ground wire so that uh, no current can flow through this uh, ground wire, or no DC voltage can uh, flow through the ground wire there. So what we're going to use is a, a couple diodes, and we're going to use the forward voltage drop on those diodes to, to block the DC. So say each of these diodes has uh, you know, 0.7 volts. In this case, it would be a 1.4 volt drop here so that any uh, DC voltage trying to get through here below 1.4 volts can't get through. But if we hook it up, these are bridge rectifiers and we hook them up in this configuration, AC will be able to flow, the AC fault current can flow through there and trip the breaker, but the, uh, the low voltage DC can't get through. So the, uh, this is the, the positive side and this is negative and negative and positive here. We don't use the AC part of the uh, the bridge rectifier. That's not hooked up. So each rectifier only has uh, two wires two wires going to it. And in this case, these are both 50 amp uh, bridge rectifiers. So I'm going to have enough AC current can flow through here to uh, to actually trip the uh, the main the breakers at the shore power side. So here's the setup right here. So. The ground wires are just uh, the the hot neutral don't go go straight through, but the, we're interrupting. The ground wire has the uh, the bridge rectifiers on there, and uh, so one side will plug into the uh, shore power, and the other side will plug into the boat, and this will block the uh, the low voltage uh, DC from going through the the ground conductor. And uh, now I happen to have these. These are these have a, a low uh, forward voltage drop, only 0.5 volts. That means this thing's only going to uh, block up to one volt of DC. So uh, you're better off using a, uh, a bridge rectifier that has a higher voltage drop. So you do a parametric search and put in that you want it to have at least 0 0.7, 0 0.8 volt drop across the, uh, the diodes in here. So that's... Uh, that's all we're doing. We're using the, uh, the di couple diodes in series to, to block uh, the low voltage DC from uh, making a path through here and eroding your uh, metal surfaces away on the boat. And I'm going to try this uh, outside. I'm going to short it out and see if this will actually hold the default uh, current on a dead short and uh, trip the breaker. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. But that's a simple galvanic isolator and uh, easy to make one up or you can buy a factory one that's uh, made for these uh, and for the situation anyway uh, thank you here we are in a safer location and I'm going to take the hot wire to ground and see if uh, we get enough fault current going through this uh, these uh, diodes to uh, actually trip the breaker now if we take the neutral wire to ground now the neutral is tied to ground back uh, at the that trip my uh, GFI I'll reset it so uh, neutral to ground trip the uh, the GFI I'll try the uh, hot wire here to ground and see what happens that uh, that trip the breaker so um, this will uh, this will work. It'll stop the uh, low voltage DC, and it'll allow the fault current to to go through there. So I think we're in good shape here.